Live from the sewer. It's Nick the Rat. Uh, episode. Episode. We're up to episode 22. Then the man. He can't shut us down. He tried today. He tried real hard. There was a, a, a time warner. They were cutting wires left and right. They were cutting what? But they can't stop me. I. I found some other wires. I found some Verizon wire. And I hooked. I hooked up my Verizon wires, so now I'm going through there. You can't, you can't fuck with me, Time Warner government man. It, I don't, homie, don't play like that. Uh, episode twenty-two, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to like nine hundred, baby. You can't, you can't stop it. You can't stop the rat. And, well, yeah. So today's a super special, super special episode. We have, we have like news. We have, uh, there's a government whistleblower that, like, sent me a cassette tape exposing some real crazy shit. I, it sent shivers down my spine when I heard it, and uh, I hope it sends shivers down your spine, too. Now, now I have to figure out. If the rain stopped outside, because it's we're in New York City, everybody, and it's been raining like a whole shitload. I think they're trying to flush me out of the sewer too. God's coming after me. Time Warner Cable's coming after me. <sighs> Let me look outside. No, no, I'm home, and not even a sun shower. Oh, by the way, this is. Home, sun shower, or sun shower with home. I always get that mixed up. Hi, you pal. Hey, Joe. Tuesday. 620 everybody. 620 on a Tuesday. Playing some music for you. Set the mood. I'm in the mood. Maybe we should spend a couple of minutes together, you know, to get acquainted before okay. we, uh, well, you know, before we get to it. Well, I'm Nick the Rat, and you're Joe Pesci, so I think we're acquainted. Sun shower with home. That was that was a groovy song. I dug it. Um. So yeah, there was a big time water outage today. Everybody, if you're in New York City, you know about it. Perhaps if you're not, then uh, well, you know who cares about New York City? 
Um, there's a lot of news to the, I, I found a whole bunch of some crazy, well, not a whole bunch, but a few crazy things out there. Um, uh, it's kind of distressing. Um, apparently, uh, there's a news article I read in the Washington Post about, uh, don't donating organs, the, the shortages, there's the less shortage because so many people are dying from ODing on like heroin and stuff. So that's like, uh, I guess a good, bad thing. Um, uh, but I wonder if the people that get these organs, if, if they like have like, you know, like cravings for the heroin, I don't know. Uh, um, also, there's this other funny news story. I'm going to play it for you. Seems so strange. I don't have to use my cane anymore. Now, Marianne recently fell in her Okeechobee home. She hurt her neck, had to have surgery. She awoke in the hospital recovery room and, without thinking, spoke to a nurse she could actually see. So, I should have actually told you what this is first. It's some some old bitty. She tripped and fell, and then she was able to see. It could be an act of God or... Aliens. I'm gonna say it's aliens. They probably like zapped her from outer space. And then she just like tripped and but the, the zap gave her a sight. But anyway, let's listen in. Let's listen back into her story. I thought it was a great feel good story. We need that for today because it's Tuesday. It's too we need to feel good on a Tuesday, right? Yeah, so let's listen. I said, Lady, you with all that purple on you, I says, get over here and give me some of her pain. And my niece says, what did you say, Mary? And that is when it hit her. For the first time in more than two decades, Marianne Franco's world wasn't dark. See, that news story had not a goddamn thing in it. Like, well, when was she blind? How'd she go blind? When she, what did the doctors think? They just had like, man, these news sources are really bad. Like, really bad. Um... Like, this next news story I'm about to play, which kind of scares me, too. This one's about, um, hold on, I need to... This news story is about the uh, New York City subways. They're going to be spraying, spraying some unknown chemical down in the sewer. Well, I guess maybe the subways, subways or the sewers, same difference. Maybe that's why it smells so funny down here lately. But anyway, they're doing tests on on the public. But there's there's a couple of things that they leave out of the news article, in my opinion. Let me just play it, and, and then we'll reflect. We're going to reflect and discuss. We're going to reflect and discuss what, what was left out. Let's see if you agree with me. Because if you do, you might be crazy. Too. Anyway, let's listen. Sampler like this in the subway station you regularly use. Be prepared. Starting tomorrow, the Department of Homeland Security will be conducting a week-long bioterrorism drill where they will be releasing harmless gas, or what they call a non-toxic inert gas material. In well, okay, I just had to stop it right there. An inert gas-like material. Why can't they just tell us what it is? Like... Why make up all these silly words and things? Like, oh, can't they just say, like, uh, it's HO2 with a mix of CBS? You know, who the fuck knows? But I digress. Neil deGrasse Tyson, let's go back on! To the air at Grand Central, Times Square, and Penn Station. Subway riders we spoke to had no idea. Anything for the safety of the American people, I'm all for it. Whatever it takes. If that's what it takes to have a pre-drill to uh, sort of figure out what's going on before it goes on, then I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. If it has to be done, I don't mind being inconvenient slightly if, if they think it's going to work. It's worth a try, maybe. There will be a single 20-minute release period of tracers in the big transit hubs from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, followed by a sampling of the air at approximately 55 subway stations around Manhattan over a four-hour window. And See, first, man, I didn't want to stop it. I didn't want to interrupt the thing. But it was just fresh in my mind. First, they named, like, three subway stations. They're like, oh, it's going to be, uh, like, Times Square. It's going to be at this one. And then they said three of them. And then later in the news article, 
Yeah, 50, 50, 55 places. We're, 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 we're 55 places. We're going to squirt gas on you. Hmm. What could that gas be? Well, I have a theory about it. But you have to wait till later in the show. Because boy, oh boy, your minds are going to be blown, people. Let's go back to the news story. That's when commuters might see the unusual equipment be put to the test along with experimenters in safety vests and badges. It is a good idea because our safety comes first. And if there's a little sacrifice we have to do to be safe in the future, it's worth it. You better be prepared for when it happens. And I think if people, people are delayed all the time for different reasons, I think... This is probably a reason that it's worth being delayed. The head of the MTA said in the statement, these inert gases are safe for our customers and employees and the entire test will be performed with no impact on them and no interruption to service. Mm -hmm. The MTA says the six million people who ride New York City subways each and every day will be safe and secure during this week-long bioterrorism drill. It ends on Friday, May 13th. From the newsroom, McGee. All right. So... News is supposed to be, like, fair and balanced. Every man on the street they talk to just totally cock-gobbled the government man. Not one naysayer. Not not, not one! Not one! (sighs) Okay. I was getting a little out of control. But you hear that? There's like, everybody's just like, we need this. Because, ooh, bioterror. And you know what happens when they do these tests. In about, like, two weeks, it's going to happen. Just like the running man. Remember the days of the running man? Well, if you don't, this one's by Droid Bishop. Mr. McAllister, who lives here? No, Nick the Rat, who lives here. You hear me or what? What? Joe, what do you think about the gas? Good. Oh, really? That's it? Yeah. Shut down the show. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be listening anymore. And uh, you're not. You're you're off of my. You're off of my podcast. Like, so you listen to your dad. You really gotta think really think your entire life. Right, bye. 
You're fucking warned. Don't ever go over my fucking head again. You motherfucker, you. Oh. Why do you go over your head? Just those haters were. Haters. Can't live without them. They're always there. Hating. I'm exposing stuff, people. 633. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Mate, uh, you know, stop playing that music down under, mate. Keep on blasting that monkey shit. Not happy, uh, you know, listening to my things down here. You're really upsetting the room. All right, mate. Uh, it's more like you know, you really got to shut the shit down, mate. You, you're, you can't do this no more. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing, mate. Stop it, eh? Yeah, motherfucker. I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. Stop letting that lovely bullshit up in the sewer. You can't even lie, it's just six little dollars. Man, you told, I can't get my slave labor tones, mate. I can't get my signal down there, you're just trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up through the... Hey, uh, you just stick the rat live. Yeah, I'm calling because, uh, I got a message for you. Eat your fucking grapes, sonny boy. Eat your grapes, sonny boy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. Oh, man. Well... I have a theory about um about all this stuff here. I just wanna I wanna send it all I wanna send oh. Sorry, they're, they're flushing stuff down to the sewer today. Um uh, Yeah. Hold hold on here. I'm gonna send the signal up to Rainer really quick. I, I wanna see what's going on. I wanna see what's going on with the Zika virus. We need a Zika virus update! So, Rainer, bring it away! Hey, Nate the Rat, hey, um, listen here, I was, I thought, I, I might have told you I defeated the Zika virus, you might recall that, right? Well, um, it turns out, um, I might have made it, I might have made it go airborne. Yeah, it was, see, when I went down to Brazil to kill all the Zika mosquitoes. I found out it was actually the Zika queen alien brain thing going on. Um, and when I when I pumped it full of lead, I don't know, it might have started squirting spores out all over. You know, that's why I can't really. Ooh, yeah, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Really rough out there, Nick the Rat. I don't know if I helped stop or spread the Zika disease, uh, but, but I will tell you that, that Kerrigan gives real good alien head. Oh, come on! Could you, you, I might have kids listening, Rainer. You're gonna be talking about alien blowjobs on the radio? This is my show, not your sick, demented fantasy show, okay? You're cut off, Rainer. All right, so I guess the Zika virus is still. Ooh, the Zika virus is still pumping around the earth and stuff, and that's not, that's not cool, you know. There's kids with big heads and things, and I saw an ad for the Zika virus in New York City. Yeah, New York. It was all the way. It was in the subways. 
I might have brought this up already, but I thought I'd bring that up again. Maybe, maybe the the whole chemical spraying with the whoa. <sighs> Let's see. <sighs> All right. Um, Rainer really threw me off there, so I gotta play some some more music for everybody out there. We got Pyrex. Actually, this is probably from home. I think this is the the band's name is Home. Are they even bands? These people. Anyway, Pies Py Six, P Y X I S is the name of the next funky jam. I'm gonna give to you. Believe that shit, Joe? No. Really? Do you want to do a? Uh, you want to help destroy the Zika virus? Because Rainer's seems to be in pretty ineffective. No, tomorrow, get now. What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? What? I'll quarantine you. Where's your fucking balls? They're in your mouth, Joe Pesci. Booyah! <laughs> yeah. P-Y-I-X-I-S Yeah, um, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, it was good. I liked it. Um, you know what I do enjoy? I like sponsors. I love sponsors. Because I get paid big bucks to do this show. I'm like a millionaire in the sewer, everybody. I hope you all uh, realize that. That's why I give it out for free. I give, 
I give the show for free because I'm so rich. I'm not rich. I'm just joking. So if you want to give me money, please. Wee. Um. So anyway, back to the sponsors. Today we have banana bread beer. A banana bread beer. It's um 5.2 percent on the alcohol, which is uh, it's kind of low, kind of. But it does have a uh, banana twang. I like, I like the banana twang. Do you, do you like the banana twang, Joe? Yeah. Okay. Wow. You're sick. You know that. I'm not. I just, just want to know if you like the banana. Jeez, bro. Come Excellent. on. Excellent. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, another sponsor for today is. Uh, uh, Federal Reserve Note. We got a 20 Federal Nerves Reserve Note right here. Some guy named Jackson. Um, that's all I can really say about this. I don't know what I could do with this. So I'm just going to set this on fire later. Keep the sewers nice and warm. All right. Um, we have more sponsors, I'm sure. What's over here? What is that? Joe, get off of that. That's not for you. It's my... Ah! Oh my god. Uh, that's not... Uh, let's see. What do I... Who's... Who's sponsoring me today? Anybody else? Did I ever have them as a sponsor before? We have... I think I might have had them before, but why not bring them back? We have classic, raw, natural, unrefined rolling papers. This little sweet thing came with a string around it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Non-GMO. I'm really happy that they put it. They, they actually wrote fucking vegan on here too. Really? There's non-vegan rolling paper. I really wish I never read that. That's that's really that's awesome. Fuck man, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you could have vegan. You could have vegan paper. Um. Also, I guess other sponsors. There's uh, I got I got a sponsor named Blitzed. He gives me he gives me chat room privileges, man. He's he's awesome. There's there's a Nick the Rat chat room. You can go in there. Let me let me do some shout outs while I'm giving out mad props to sponsors. I guess I should give mad props to people. So that's what happens when you you partake in my show. It's I would love. Bacon rolling papers. Uh, we got boat. We got blitzed. We got borked. We got CD death. We got haze. We got some other. Jer- we got progo and sapphire. Oh man, big big ups to the chat room. Jeez, you, where else? Where else can you get? Can you get the big ups on live radio? In the chat. It's six forty six. Everybody, let's play another song. Calix Journey. The show's like a journey. Woo. I hope you're enjoying everybody. Let your mind start a journey to a strange new world. You ready? Leave all thoughts of the world you once knew before. Let your soul take you where you long to be. I want to be in the sewer. Close your eyes and let your spirit start to rise. Charge your crystals. As you've never lived before. Welcome. To the journey. I'm about to go on a journey too. You can all join me. Alright. Here we go.
Kids would see death. What? I think I want my money back. Whoa, Joe. Joe, come on, man. The show's not over yet, either. There's... There's big stuff happening here. Big stuff! You still have voice maps and stuff coming, too. Wow! Like, I was driving along, down the road, like, so it's quite light, it's quite easy, really, like, I don't know, I was on crack, then, the time stopped, man. Like, it just stopped. Like, I was looking at a little digital camera. Whoa! What is going on? Yeah, I was, oh, the same, like, I walked out, and I woke up in my bed, and... This is some really good weed. Six fifty. Like sixty degrees, six a lot of sixes. Six, 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 six. Current, current national debt is nineteen. Tr- is that a trillion? Is that a baj- bajillion? It's big. Thank you very, very much. That was a nice little journey, right? Like we all went on a little trip together, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, how do you feel now? Good. How? Now. Oh, okay. <sighs> all right, that was Calic's journey. You should, uh, you can find him on SoundCloud. You can find all these people on SoundCloud. I really should make a playlist. I always talk about doing it, and then I never do. But I did talk about making a phone line, and I've done that one. So if anybody ever wants to call in, the phone line is 917-719-5923. I might take a live call or two. I'm definitely take voicemails, and I'll play the I'll play those guys. I got I got two voicemails. It seems right here. Um, let me let me spin up a voicemail. I guess. Uh, nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. You can call me and Joe right now if you call. But uh, here's here's caller number one. Oh boy, cross your toes. Hi, Nicholas. It's your sister Veronica. I'm oh, no. giving you a call because I, quite frankly, I'm concerned. You're you're doing this radio show and you don't look too healthy, Nick. Uh-huh. You look you look like you haven't been eating and you know, I we used to have trouble eating when we were kids, you were growing up. Oh, yeah. But you gotta take care of yourself, Nikki, you're thirty five and you don't you don't you don't take care of yourself. You look you look like an alien. Uh-huh. You're doing this radio show 35. people leave you voicemail and look at a creepos that are calling you. I'm I'm worried for you, Nikki. Call me back. I keep calling your cell phone. They say you don't pay your bill and disconnected the line. Do you need money? I have money. I've been working extra shifts at the hospital. Just let me know, Nick. I'm worried for you. This radio show. No one can help me. Give me a call, Nick. 
Uh, I don't have a sister. But I did meet a girl named Veronica she once in the street. She had a beard. Um, wow, let's... Let's play another another voicemail. Gotta play another voicemail for you. 917-719-5923. This one's gotta be gotta, gotta be better than that last one. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to say to this or that one either. But all right. So those are the those are the voicemails I got in the past couple of days. Hopefully, I'll get more this week. I might do another one. I might do another show soon. And I'm gonna do it from home, just like that band that I apparently found a lot of their music for free out there. This one is called Hold, and if my sister ever calls me again, I'm gonna put her on hold. This one's for you, Veronica. That was a fun night we had, though. Those lights. We smoked, we saw that UFO. Hold me, baby! Scratch me with that beard. Prick, you put my fucking money to sleep. You go get my money or I'll put your fucking brain to sleep. Whoa. Is that why you're here, Joe? I'm only part Irish. How'd you know? You must be staying. How you doing? I'm, I'm Nick the Rat. Just coming up on the 7 o'clock hour in Brooklyn. Maybe in like three minutes. I don't know. signal I'm getting a signal everybody hold on I gotta I gotta 
I'm going to try to grab this signal from midair. This is really tricky to do. Like, you could practice doing this, and it sometimes works. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm going to grab it. I'm grabbing. Um, no, that's that's not what I wanted to grab. Let me grab. Uh, oh, this hurts. It hurts. All right, let's, let's see what happens. It's me. It's Larry. And finally, I finally made it to my bunker. I made it. Okay. All right. And now, uh, I have some news. I have some news for you. And, uh, it's important. It's, it's important stuff. Okay. It's important stuff about... free and on the run and apparently reporting the news wow that's amazing holy shit larry thank you for the the, the news calling if you need anything like uh buh, like sky things or uh any type of like buh, shooting lasers down there we'll, we'll send it for you bro don't worry about it um well, holy moly. I, if anybody has McDonald's things, like the mozzarella sticks, send them straight over to me. I'm going to I'm gonna weaponize these things. You know what I mean? The Mr. McAllister who lives here? Well, yeah, me. The Mr. McAllister who lives here is going to weaponize those Maybe things. Maybe we should spend a couple of minutes together. You know, Snakes. get acquainted before we, uh, you know, before we get to it. Above all, home!
Joe, go home. No, tomorrow, Egghead, now! Go home now, Egghead. There's a lot of things going to change out here, and if you want to be there with me, you're going to have to go my fucking way. You and Lisa played a game of pool for two hundred dollars, which she won. I'm here to collect. No, Veronica and me played pool. Don't worry about me. I spoke to your husband already. I'm, I'm not married to Veronica. She's very hairy though, but she's and not. Don't my... worry about your home. It's in good hands. Okay. As long as they're your hands. You know, I'm trying to put something really big together out here. You know what I'm talking about, huh? You know. Oh. Now I do. This is Tommy fucking Tomato, okay? I'm tired of this fucking caller calling up telling me that I don't know what's going on in the fucking grocery. Get the fuck out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. At least I didn't get any calls from the produce mobsters fucking recently. Um, well then, uh, let's see, what's the next thing that I got going on over here? Uh, oh yeah, I got this other super secret uh, recording thingamajig. I, what? let's see what this, this was sent in to me. I shouldn't. I, I got. I gotta tell you about. I gotta. It's somebody slipped a VHS cassette tape, and it's just, it's just blackness. But there's there's stuff recorded. Like I there's a guy talking. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know what even if you're gonna even even be able to hear it. But let's see. I'm gonna pop this into this VCR. I almost forgot that it was called a VCR because. Ooh, you, but yeah, it's a VCR with a VHS, and it's going through the internets to you right now. Hello, Nicolette. I'm contacting you today because I need your help. Where should I begin? I work for a government agency. The name of this agency is Dreamland Control. Because I would like to remain anonymous, you may refer to me as M12. I was down in Brazil in a secret government facility and I discovered something truly, truly horrific. I was inside of a room that I should not have been in. It was labeled Z-243. Inside of this room, I saw something I could not explain. It looks like a giant beetle brain. It must have been 30 meters big. It was gigantic. It was inside of a glass tube type container. 
I saw files on the table, which I was able to photograph and leave the room what? very quickly. I went into hiding and then read these files. Files? I need to expose the truth, Nick Zeran. You need to help me spread the word. In these files, It's explained. And that's... That was what I got sent down to the sewer. That was... I don't know what to make of it. It was... But do you want to know the... the you want to know even the, the crazier thing? Yeah, I'll take, I'll take callers. If anybody wants to discuss this, if you know who sent this tape... You call in uh, now, like right now, to 917-719-5923. This has got me really worried, because it sounded official. It sounded official to me. I don't know what it sounded like to you, but to me it sounded pretty pretty goddamn official. Oh, boy. There's, there's, there's something even crazier, though. There is... But you're gonna have to wait for it. This is the teaser. The teaser is another tape came down the sewer too. Right after, right after that one. Right after that cassette tape came down. Like why? Why is it on two cassette tapes? Who has two cassette tapes? I don't get it. But before that, we're gonna play fragments of Bach. No, no, you know what? I like that song a lot. We're going to save that song. This is the ultimate teaser. I'm saving Fragments of Bach for the end of the show. And I'm going to replace that with audio. Emil Rothmeyer! We'll finish that the cassette tape. In a minute. Well, four. Four minutes! It'll be seven... Fifteen by the time we play it. In the sewer. On a, it was the other day, Monday. They came down Monday. No labels, nothing on them. Just the black fuzzy screen, like the ring. Yes, it's very much like the ring. I die. You know why? It's because he's taking. <laughs> Get that cap off that. Here. Hashtag sewer chat. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. Hash, hashtag sewer chat. Silly. Somebody posted the bag. So what's news.com posted a bag under sewer chat. How did that get involved? I thought I owned Sewer Chat. I'm calling Twitter. I'm complaining. Nick the Rat! Hey, motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that, motherfucker. 
what that would sound like. Slow down. Fifteen hour, everybody. Seven fifteen hour. Tuesday, May tenth. It's May. I had to count the months on my my toes. That's, that's my parents taught me weird things. They were like, I don't know how to count numbers on my hand or anything. I just use my toes for everything. bring this up, but you've been treating a lot of people with a lot of disrespect, even your own wife. Hey, Veronica is not my husband or my wife. She was just a girl I used to know that had a beard. Slobbered on joints. She was really horrible. Jeez, I took her to the roof. We enjoyed a nice raw roll J. She bogarted it. She bogarted it, everybody. That's why I don't call you back, Veronica. I thought you I thought you knew. I thought you knew Veronica how to s- smoke with the pros. Uh, yeah. It's now seven. I, oh, yeah. Oh, the thing I was teasing. Cassette number two. All right, let me get the first cassette out. Oh, jeez. I have to hit eject and wait. And, uh, all right. Okay, it's still, it's coming out, the, the, the top of my VCR open, my Gem and the Holograms sticker might be weighing it down, I gotta take that sticker off of there, alright, it's still, it's halfway open, alright, okay, I got the first tape out, and let me put the second tape in there and close it up, right, you close it so much faster than it opens, Ooh, okay, let's see, um, Here's cassette number two. The unmarked cassette. Oh god, I'm scared. If I if if I if you take a picture of me and it goes blurry Do something. Burn burn down the sewer. Okay, hold on, here we go. Sorry, the reception is pretty bad. In these files it is explained. In 2010, there was an organism found in a lake in Brazil. The organism seemed to grow exponentially over time. In these papers, it was theorized that this alien landed on Earth as a subatomic creature. To travel faster than the speed of light, it had to shrink itself to be microscopic. I'm sorry, I thought I heard something. Hold on. Alright, we're still good. So, as I was saying, the creature started to grow, and the U.S. government came to Brazil and built a facility down here to keep it contained. It was almost exposed by Edward Snowden in 2013. I wish it did, but it did not. Apparently, our government has written in these files they want to weaponize this creature. And currently, you are suffering the effects of this from what the media is calling the Zika virus. 
The Zika virus is not spread by mosquitoes. It is an airborne pre-radical. Pre-radical? They are pumping it throughout the systems, in train systems in Brazil, and on buses in Brazil, and spreading it that way. It causes what looks like encephalitis in pregnant women, but it is actually implanting alien DNA into them. Once they perfect it, it will create a super soldier for the government. They cannot get the formula down right, so they are practicing their techniques of gene manipulation on the population. This is how they spread it all over. The mosquitoes are already hated and are commonly known to carry odd diseases. You must spread this word, Nicolette. You must you must get the truth out there before before really, really bad things occur. You are our last hope. Love and light, my friend. I will contact you whenever I can next. Uh oh. I think that you for me. Oh my god. Well Well I don't know what to say about that either. Uh, if if anybody wants to call in and talk about that last caller, it's it's nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. So so he was working in a government facility who was called Dream Dreamland Command and his name is M twelve? This is insanity. Alright, so I wonder if M12 will ever slip more cassette tapes down into the sewer. Whew. He's got to fix the tracking on that thing. It was uh, a little little messed up there. Wow. So that's the number. Oh, wait. Okay, we're getting a live caller. Live caller! Hello? Uh, this is Nick the Rat Radio. It's 722 live caller. That was not that was not a live caller. This is a song called Insert Coin from Anacronum Anacronum Insert Coin. Black helicopters flying over this fucking sewer. 
724, Brooklyn, New York, live from the sewer. Let's take a look out the space window. Seems tuning in to Nick the Rat Radio. Oh, there goes New York. New York student. Good old Hudson. Hudson on the river. All right, let's go around. Earth. The observation that many people are better talkers than listeners also applies to computers. As we discuss in a later segment, the computer knows exactly what it wants to say. All right, there's Africa. Um, nobody tuning in from Africa. Hey, Africa. <laughs> Norway looks like a big old penis. <laughs> hey, Norway. Norway is not listening. for the live updates, Rainer. Jeez. No problem. Okay. Right. Spying on everybody. If I'm in the sewer, <laughs> keep, keep away from Rainer. Rainer's... He's watching you. Uh, that was insert coin. Insert coin. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, anachronum. An- anachronum? Looks like uh, a- anaconda with a crayon. Uh, oh, we're coming up on the 7.30 hour. It's it's weird. It's like time is really fun to talk about. To bring up uh, time, times, to time. Do people talk about time and do things with time. But it really feels like you mark it out. Because it goes by so fast. Like 7.27 p.m. on Tuesday, the 5.10.2016. It's already gone. It's already like 7.28 and seconds and all that going. You can't go back. You could just kind of name it in the present. Oh, boy. So today was Tuesday. We had a lot of we had a lot of good calls, and, uh, interesting conversations, and black tapes. It looks like looks like nobody wants to call in. Nobody from Norway, just give me a call. Norway, call me nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Going on vacation? No, what? Yeah. Going on a trip? I'm go, Joe. I told you to leave already. Okay, Joe. Joe Pesci, get the hell Fucker. out of here. What? Fucker. Uh, what the, d- Dude. Oh, God. What happened to the fucking tough guy? I told my friend, stick it up his fucking yeah. ass. That was Rainer. Rainer will come back here and he's going to beat the shit out of you, Be man. Be fucking nice. I'm, I'm nice. Jeez, stop cursing. Get out of the sewer. Oh, okay, I'm going to get Rainer to fucking blow up Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci needs to go. What gave him the right to be such a bad, bad man? Oh boy, oh boy. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna just close this this show out. I guess that was a really lovely Tuesday to spend with everybody. It's 7:30 in Brooklyn. Talking about time. Oh yeah, and we're gonna play some Bach now. Well, fragments of Bach from 
Compiler Boot. I can't. I'll just spell his name. C O M P I L E R B A U. Jeez. Compiler Boo. Ba. Compiler Ba. Compiler Boo. Kimpily Boo. Compiler Ba. Uh, thanks to Blitz for the chat and everybody that came, listened, and all that. Uh, I'm going to be back maybe. Maybe I'm going to do a Friday the 13th show. Or something. Maybe I could clean up those audios and we can listen to him again. Maybe he'll send more cassette tapes. Maybe I'll finally hit play on this song. I just want to... I'm talking to my wall right now. Hi, wall! Okay. Fragments of Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach produced collections of movements that explored the range of artistic and technical possibilities inherent in various genres. The most yeah. famous example is the well-tempered clavier, in yeah. which each book presents a prelude and fugue in every major and minor key. Each book displays a variety of contrapuntal and fugal techniques. This compiler bow interpretation contains melody parts of the fugue in C minor from the second well-tempered clavier book. Yeah. 
man, I see him, I'm gonna slap him up, you know what I'm saying? Yo, keep doing your thing, Chicken Wing. for the after party.